Hey, Michelle from Vulture Magazine here again with Maddie again from the 1975. Shit, I almost forgot the name of the band. <laughs> okay, um, so the last time we interviewed, I started off with some facts about 1975. Mm-hmm. So I dug up a few more just to okay. smart you up a bit. In 1975, Mick Jagger, at the age of 33, said, I'd rather be dead than sing Satisfaction again when I'm 45. I think he's 70 now. He's still singing it. Yep. Motorola obtained the first patent for the first mobile phone. Motorola did that. Yep. Yep. Apple Records closed down. Apple Records is responsible for the Beatles. They, oh. That was their um, record company. First recorded during snowfall in London. And you ever heard of the Yorkshire Ripper? Yeah, I know the Yorkshire Ripper. We pronounce it slightly differently. Sorry, Yorkshire favorite. Ripper. Yorkshire. Um, Yorkshire. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The Ripper <laughs> killed his first victim. That, that was the Did he? Yeah. 1975. What a knob. What a knob. Okay, so, so many shows since the, um, the last time in Australia. Are you tired yet? Mm-hmm. Yeah, really tired. You've been with me all day. You know how tired yeah. I am. I feel really bad for them. So... And on your, at your gig on Tuesday in Melbourne, you mentioned living in Melbourne. When I was a baby? Yes. I had a bit of an incident, actually. I lived here. My dad saved me when he was doing the dishes. I poured a, a pan of boiling water all over myself. My dad found me. This was in Melbourne when I lived here. Picked me up. Put me in the sink. Genius. Put me straight in the sink when he was doing the dishes and stopped me from being scarred. And they said he would have been, like, scarred. And hideous. Oh, well, you know, people with scars are still beautiful. That's Hello. not a very nice thing to say. Yeah, look at it's you. Strange. I'm Pop gorgeous. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, uh, so some fan questions. What else is something people may not know about you? Yeah, I got asked this before and I was thinking, is there something that people... Well, I mean, if you don't know it, then you probably shouldn't. I was in Green Day for about 10 minutes when I was 13. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I can say that, George. Yeah, no, that is the, the most. What I mean is what they do. The Green Day. <laughs> they, when they tour, they, they used to do this thing where they would get a kid up on stage to play each instrument. So drums, bass. I got picked at Newcastle Arena to play the bass. And I got on stage and played bass in Green Day, with Green Day, out on the, at Newcastle no, Arena. You, didn't pl- you played with the other one, with probably some random kids who were yeah, playing no, drums. Green Day were there. Yeah. That's a proud moment. Yeah, it was a proud moment. Yeah, it was a proud moment. Just saying, sure. in me, Green dude. Day. <laughs> he got on stage. With Shut up, it's not your interview. <laughs> what are you looking forward to at the moment now that you've um, toured the world, performed pretty much at every festival? What, what can you possibly aim towards and look forward to now? We were really looking forward to getting them desserts last night, but room <laughs> service had stopped. Room service had stopped at 10 and they told us it was going to be 11 and they had so many desserts. My life's mainly based on I just, desserts. I get excited for new books and I get excited for desserts because all of our life is catered now. Because everywhere, we do literally our gig every day and people provide you food when you do that. So it's like, what dessert am I going to get today? So that's kind of the excitement that I live. That's, that's... It's true. I mean, whether it's whatever you're going to say, it's, it's true. Not, it's fine. It's your thing. Yeah. Pre-show rituals. What do you do for every gig? Do you um, have one? Just l- lube up and go. Lube up with? <laughs> lube. <laughs> okay, I thought, you, I thought you meant it more in an alcoholic sense. But okay, no, no, I if physically it's mean... Do you know how, to get, how hard it is to get these jeans on? I can't even lift my leg up. Okay, well then, leading into that, any secret talents? Um, George, what what are my secrets? I can do like a moon, I can moonwalk. I can do oh, loads, a couple of dance moves. I can do. It's no secret. It's no secret there, right? Can, you do I it on stage every night. It's, yeah. like it's like Mick Jagger on stage. I, thank you. I didn't say it. But oh. What are we? Um, what what are my hidden talents? All my talents are out there in the open. I'm not good at anything else. I'm not even good at dancing, and I do that every day. So. Be surprised at things I'm not good at. Uh, what do you want to be remembered for? Um, for being an ambassador for, of the concept of modernity, but also this barnet. You can. I want to be recognised. I, I think, like, I don't know. What do I want to do? I want to make people slightly more conscientious through the things that I do because 
I'm privileged enough to now kind of have a voice to a certain extent. So maybe be remembered for being a good person and, and doing and having a positive impact on, on culture, whether it be pop culture or whatever. You think you're a good person? I'm not questioning that, I'm asking just... Yeah, I'm de yeah I do think I'm... Well, no, I mean, it depends what you... I, I, I have guilt and I have things that I've done that aren't very good, but I live my life, you know, I treat people as I wish to be t treated. It's getting snapped around. Not really, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I like, I, I just want people to remember me. I, I want every interaction that I have with somebody to be po positive. What's the point in harbouring that? What's the point in not making it? Because it's the only thing that's going to happen. I mean, you know, you can worry about God and all that kind of thing, but the only thing that's going to happen is you talking to someone. So you just might as well make it memorable. So going off this... <laughs> I would have been the best if I just got off of you. Um, um, no, because I would get so much hate mail if you did You that. would do. I would get death threats. Um, and as last time, like, that's all my questions, but Bolger has another gift for you. Because the last time we gave you a gift, we gave you Australia Day presents themed because we, we interviewed you in Australia Day, but you actually left them behind in the media tent. So I, like, I had to... Because he was like, oh, they're, they're colourful. They really weren't like very, they, yeah, they weren't I'm very not going to feel guilty about that. Because they weren't like, they weren't like, it wasn't like, <laughs> it was like something. ugly sunglasses oh, and shot glasses. It's like some, yeah, it's like shit you get free. But we had this shirt made up because we found this on Tumblr. Okay. <laughs> so it's, oh, it's, it's that? actually um, a Wikipedia definition that was made about you, but they've, said your occupation as a triangle player in the band in 1976. That's an odd concept for a t-shirt. I know, but I thought it was hilarious. The, the most ironic thing about that, well not even ironic, it's not ironic at all, <laughs> but I mean, I haven't got a Wikipedia yet. Are you sure? It's bullshit. <laughs> the 1975 have got one, I haven't got my own one. I thought the one thing that I would have of all the things that I don't care about, I thought I'd have my own Wikipedia, but I don't. But maybe that's a good thing, it keeps me grounded. Someone's going to make a Wikipedia about you now. Mm, that's my plan. Thanks very much for your time, I Thanks. appreciate it. Thanks for your input, George. Uh, See you next thanks. time.